Ms. I have the same question for you. What is something sweet and something salty about Maurice? Well, uh, something sweet about Maurice is that, you know, when I fell in love with her was um, we were, <laughs> this is gonna sound, I mean, we keep going down this path. So <laughs> the, like the first night I asked her out like on a, like a date, we, it was like after, a sh it wasn't even a date. It was like, hey, what are you doing after the show, which is Monday Night Raw? And she was like, I'm, I'm probably going back to bed or whatever. I'm like, hey, a bunch of us are going. By the way, our lights are just flickering anyway. But it's, it doesn't matter. It just, it just is what it is, we're yeah. We're lighting. We're losing everything. It's okay, though. So, by the way, these are the cheap lights that she bought. I did not buy these lights, by the way. So you want uh -huh. something salty? She buys things, and I tell her, don't buy them. Do not buy those. They're cheap. They're crap. They're not going to work. And she's like, no, they'll work. They're fine. Look they're, at, look how great they look. And during an interview, fine. they all, they're all start flickering it's and going right, out. Because you need to plug them in. They're, this one's plugged in. It just went out. I think it's like, honestly, short circuited. Anyway, <laughs> so back to my story. So I asked her to go out with uh, a bunch of the guys are going out afterwards. A bunch of guys, girls, superstars. We're going to eat, you know. She's like, oh, sure, I'll show up. So I'm at one table. There's a bunch of guys at the other table. And, uh. She decides to sit at the other table. And I'm like, wow, I invite her out. And she's just basically like going to sit because there. She's sitting in a, like a booth with my, oh, the lights on. <laughs> Cheap lights. Yeah, this is, this, is, this is the effect I need for this story, though. I'm haunted. So I walk into the, the restaurant, and he's sitting there with a bunch of people. So I'm like, oh, it's like the first time, really. I'm like, I'm not going to go, oh, excuse me. Can I sit here? I'm, I'm going to just whatever. I'll just walk in the restaurant and find me. So anyway, uh, the, the night ends, we all go out and we just start talking. Like we uh, end up sitting, sitting in the parking lot for like- he, 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 by the way, you were like a lot younger, but you had this attitude also that was very like the mid- Me like, attitude, like, come on. So people. that's why, by the way, I'm saying that. But yeah, keep, keep, keep. So, so we start driving and I'm like, yeah, I'll follow you back, make sure you get home okay. i get to your hotel. Actually, where are we going? No, yeah, we'll get to your hotel okay. So I'm following her and I go, I call her because uh, I thought I saw this shop and I was like, pull over, pull over, pull over. This will be fun. This will be fun. So, I'm so she I pulls over, fire. she pulls over and we're at an adult store. And I was like, I can kill two birds with one stone. One, I cannot get in the friend zone because I'm taking her to an adult store. I'm not the friend guy. I'm, I'm the guy you want a relationship with. And True. secondly, could get her in the mood. I, I can see kind of, what she's into, that kind of stuff. I can't speak we, English, by the way. Oh yeah, by the way, but at this point, she doesn't speak English very well. She only speaks French because she just came to America. So this is perfect for you. This is perfect for you. Right, right. <laughs> this is this is the you know a different language, right? So we walk in, and honestly, there's like swings. Like this is like a seedy part of town. Like not the part like it's like oh this is luxury and beautiful and like sexy and sleek. No, it's like hardcore. And I'm just like, oh, maybe this wasn't a good idea. And she, her eyes are just like, what did you bring me to? I'm, I'm, I'm starting to ask, like, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I remember you asking me, do you like that? And then we're like by a swing with like a, there's like a mask with like a. Try, I'm just trying like to figure ball. things out here. We just, sure. you know, trying to understand the philosophy of what she's into. Maybe she's into that. I don't know. So 50, 15 years ago, I was about 20, I was 24. Yeah, after about an awkward, uh, about 15 minutes, we ended up leaving that place, but we stayed in the, we stayed in the parking lot and we ended up talking the entire night, like for three hours until we had to actually leave for our, 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 our airplanes to, to fly out. So after I got done with that conversation, I remember driving in the car thinking, man, I can only find a girl like that. If I can only get a girl like that, I'd be so happy. And I flew back home. I went to Barnes & Noble, tried to learn French. Didn't work, but I bought a book to try to teach me how. And so- uh, The thought that counts, Mike. It's, right? the, it's the thought that, that counts. That's the that impressed me so much. She was smart. She was witty. Like, she barely spoke English. She listened to me. It was really nice. Like, sometimes I wish she didn't speak English, you know, so I could just literally talk her ear off all day long, but now she does, so- 
I think the best part about your wife is ultimately that she decided to go on a second date with you after that really insane first date. That's what I'm picking up on. Wait, that's what you took out of this? You didn't take out the fact that the light's still flickering? The, no, the light none is of that. Still flickering? I'm, you didn't I'm take holding that on to the second date here, so Maurice, you deserve a Nobel Prize. By the way, the third this. light just went out. There's four <laughs> lights. There's four lights. One's flickering. This one went out. That one just went out. And this one that I bought is still working. You know, this is this is the perfect for my last question because we've seen you two argue we about- We might only have time for one more last question because this <laughs> one's about to go out. Because, yeah, we only, got, we only got 30 seconds basically, but we've seen you two argue about who is more annoyed at who, which is just reflective in this interview. But I want to honestly know who is the most annoying person to live with? Oh, I'm real annoying. I, I, already, I can, I can sign, sign myself up for that. I mean, do you not watch Monday Night Raw every single Monday on USA 8 to 11? If you want annoying, there's nothing more annoying than this face. <laughs> and if you think I'm annoying, wait till you meet my dad. <laughs> Two annoying people in the same household. Poor That's girl. why Maurice buys the cheap lights, so no one has to look at your face for too long. Oh, yeah, I see what she's doing. I get her plot. I understand it. Ms. Maurice, thank you so much for chatting with me. I honestly love you both so much and love to your kids as well. Thank you very much. You. Appreciate it. Always a good time. Guys, don't miss the return of Ms. and Mrs. tonight at 10.30, 9.30 Central on USA.